you want to get to the top, you gotta know the tricks of the trade. Brains over brawn, mind over matter. You don't come this far without setting a few fires. Take a seat. It's time you learned my secrets. Let's talk about baking soda. No, 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 not like that. I mean the magical powder that you keep in the pantry. We've put together an awesome list of baking soda uses that'll compel you to pull it from under the sink and bring it into prime time. Want to make a more natural air freshener that smells great? Pour yourself two cups of water into a spray bottle. Bust out your finest lemons, oranges, or limes and do a little slicing. We're gonna want about half a cup of citrus juice, which is usually two to three fruits. Squeeze it off carefully and pour it right into your spray bottle. Now add about one tablespoon of baking soda to your bottle, add the top, and give it a good shaking. Sprayed in stinky areas for a long-lasting, more natural approach to pleasing your olfactory senses. Baking soda being the scientific marvel that it is, can also be a crowd pleaser at your next party. Simply take together four parts powdered sugar and one part baking soda. Mix it all up good. Dump it into a container that can handle a lot of heat and add about one part rubbing alcohol to the powder. Next, we're gonna light it. We'll be dealing with a chemical reaction, so safety is of the utmost importance. Eye protection should be worn and a fire extinguisher nearby. Grandpa, wanna see something cool? No. If you're a miner, make sure you have adult supervision. As the mixture burns, the baking soda is going to create a lot of carbon dioxide, which in turn fluffs up the burnt sugar, forcing it out of the container as it continues to grow. What you're left with resembles a burnt marshmallow, but don't eat it. Now how about a different kind of reaction? I'm talking about surprise. By adding a single tablespoon directly into a ketchup bottle, the groundwork is laid for a shocking surprise. Now I don't recommend trying this, but theoretically, if you were to lightly flip the bottle over to hide the powder inside and then maybe put it back in the fridge, it's entirely possible, theoretically of course, that an unsuspecting victim might grab it and kick off the chemical reaction. The movement and shaking of the bottle will cause the baking soda to react with the vinegar that's in the ketchup. All the contents in the bottle will quickly spray out, leaving behind quite a cleanup job. Now that's saucy. The human foot has over 250,000 sweat glands. Glands that leak into your shoes and cause odor. Let's get rid of that odor. Grab a paper towel and sprinkle a generous amount of baking soda into the center. Now fold it over on itself a couple times to fit in your shoe to leave overnight. Baking soda stabilizes the pH levels of acidic odors. Most foot odor is acidic, which is why it can smell like vinegar or even cheese. But rest assured, after a baking soda treatment, your shoes will be back to their questionable smelling selves. Now this is the time of year when our grills get neglected and the thought of cleaning them seems overwhelming. To make this an easy task, mix three parts baking soda and one part hot water into a container. Stir and blend until you have a nice paste form. Dip in a grill brush and spread the mixture around before moving into some quick scrubbing. The caked on material will come right off in a matter of seconds, leaving you with a grill that's ready for action. If you do a lot of cooking, you know that sometimes things don't go as planned. If you run into a grease fire, there isn't a lot of time to react. But if you keep baking soda around, you can safely stop the fire in its tracks by pouring it over the flame. While this does ruin your food, it also saves you a visit from the fire department. Feet and pets hit our carpets on a daily basis, and after a while they need a good refresh. You can make your own carpet powder that's more effective than store-bought versions by grabbing one cup of baking soda and a small bottle of essential oil. Put the powder in a bowl and add about 25 drops of your favorite scented oil. Mix it up good and work out all of the clumps. For easy storage, I cleaned out a Parmesan cheese bottle and added the carpet powder. You simply sprinkle it on your affected areas and then let it sit for 15 minutes. After that, Vacuum it all up and enjoy a fresh smelling, clean carpet. Now here's a quick way to deal with clogged drains without harsh drain cleaners. Simply pour a cup of baking soda right into the jammed up drain, and once settled, follow it up with a cup of vinegar. The reaction between the two substances will help unclog and even freshen up your drain. Many of us experience heartburn when eating spicy foods. Generally, you grab a Tums or some acid reducer. But let's say you ran out or you can't find it baking soda to the rescue. Add half a tablespoon of your magical powder to a glass, followed up with a cup of water. Make sure to stir it well and then fire it down your eager gullet. It doesn't taste great, but it will nullify your heartburn and let you get back to cleaning up your dishes. Plastic containers are notorious for getting food stains stuck inside. Washing and scrubbing doesn't always do the trick, leaving you with discoloration on your lovely Tupperware. To beat those hard stains, sprinkle baking soda inside the container, making sure to cover all the exposed areas. Add a small amount of water that leaves the mixture a bit thick and shake it around like a madman until the inside of the container has a nice coating. 
set it aside and let it sit overnight. After several hours in the mixture, pop off the lid and give it a good rinse. The stains will be gone and your plastic container will smell great and look like new. We hope you enjoyed unlocking the secrets of baking soda. And if you like this video, make sure to check out the vinegar video right over there. It's great. Also, if you're not subscribed, you can click that subscribe button right below this video. If you still can't find it, just head over to householdhacker.tv. We'll get you all set up. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.